I'm joined by Republican candidate for governor, Frank Edelblu. Good to see you. How are you, Josh? I am doing great. In a rapid fire half hour, the questions came in fast, including one early about whether New Hampshire school teachers make enough money. You know, it's funny when you get into the government realm, what I've discovered is that compensation works under the system of wink and nod, which is basically like I will underpay you now for a better pension in the future. And I really think we need to break that down and we need to pay people what they're worth. What is the what does the market demand for wages? And that's what we ought to be compensating people. What's your opinion on raising the minimum wage? That's from Cassie. Yes. Yeah, so what I want to do is raise the maximum wage. What we really need to focus on is not minimum wage, but wage growth for people in New Hampshire. Again, coming back to this question earlier, we're at 2.6% unemployment, but we're 49th in terms of productivity growth. You know, the way that people get wages is more per capita output. So what we really need to do is if we focus on that, minimum wage is going to be a moot point. And while he isn't governor yet, Edel Blue was off and running with a question about what he would do to put veterans to work. If you are a vet, then you should contact me because I have two veteran employment and employment training opportunities right now that, believe it or not, we've been advertising them and we have not gotten the response that I imagined that we would that are going to train veterans for advanced manufacturing jobs, particular CNC machining. So if you're a veteran out there and you're looking for an employment opportunity, please contact me because we've got programs in place now. Once again, that is Frank Edelblue. But we're going to pick back up with our Facebook Live with Candidate Series on Monday. Another Republican candidate for governor, Ted Gantzis. As always, it will kick off at 1 p.m. on the WMUR Facebook page.